Like other areas of the EOS software, the augmented suite has an editor, which allows you access to configuration and modification features. To get into edit mode, I can click on my edit button, and you'll see that takes me right into the editor. When I want to leave the edit mode, I can hit done, and I get two options here. I can either apply the changes that I've made to my model while I've been in the editor mode, or I can revert those changes, and that will cancel anything that I've done. For now, I'm going to click off of this menu. And there are a few places in the editor that we should be familiar with. The first is your model space. And your model space is going to allow you to move your camera and adjust objects that are in your model. At the bottom of the model space is the command line, and this will show up when you're tethered to another device. There are a couple of options here. You can uh, synchronize your keypad so that it will forward the keystrokes to the console. Uh, you can also close your command line here, and we'll look at how to restore that in just a moment. On the left-hand side is our library, and this is where items will appear that we can pull into our model. So we have a library of stock objects that can be used, but if you import any objects from 3D programs like Vectorworks, they will show up here, allowing you to pull them into the model later. On the right-hand side is your hierarchy menu, and the hierarchy menu contains all of the items that are in your model space, which are called assets. That includes model objects that are contributed from the library, as well as fixtures from patch, and reference points. Below that is your inspector, and your inspector will allow you to change properties for any items that you have selected in your hierarchy. My drop-down menu gives me access to other menus, so if I go into Window, you can see that Hierarchy, Library, and Inspector show up, uh, but I have a couple of other options that don't show up automatically. My Preferences, for example, will give me options for Advanced Preferences. And if I look at my Log, you can see that I have a log for Diagnostics. All of these menus are draggable and dockable, so for example, if I wanted to put Preferences near the bottom, you can see that it snaps in. I can adjust Width. I can adjust spacing here. So feel free to lay these out any way you'd like. For now, I'm going to go ahead and close my Preferences menu and my Log menu.